Hey, what up, YouTube? It's your boy Sean, aka Sean93000. What's going on with y'all out there in YouTube land today? Well, as you can see, we're in the city beautiful, except for today, it's not very beautiful. It has been raining all day long, and it has been vacillating between raining. Hang on for a second, I'm trying to adjust this camera. It has been vacillating between raining really, really hard and raining sort of hard all night and then again all day today. But hopefully we don't get too much of a flood, even though right now we're under flood advisory. I think it's going to last until like four o'clock this afternoon, but hopefully it doesn't flood too bad. And... The underpasses, the thing that I'm more concerned about is the underpasses because doing this, I use a lot of underpasses to make deliveries, you know, or to pick up food. And if those are flooded, then I'm making detours, I'm going down side streets, and my life just became a little bit more complicated. So hopefully it doesn't flood too bad. I was under a few underpasses earlier today and they looked pretty decent. They weren't dry, but they weren't flooded. There was no water as far as like, you know, like that much water or things like that. It was just traditional rain underneath them. So that's good. But who knows how long this is going to continue to come down. Like they say, it's flood advisory until 4 o'clock. But they don't say that the rain is going to stop at four o'clock. Just that the flood advisory is gonna be gone at four o'clock. Anyway, today has been a pretty fucking good day. I'm hustling hard to get that 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 uh $70 bonus that Uber's got out there now. Because like I said in a previous video, last week I got kicked in the nuts pretty hard by the fact that the 4th of July and the Taste of Chicago happened in the same damn week. I made no money last week, so this week I'm trying to make maximum money. Try saying that three times fast. Make maximum money without biting your tongue. So I've been accepting everything that's coming my way, I'm trying to make as much as humanly possible. And as much as I hate McDonald's and even now some of the subway runs, I thought it, at first it was just the McDonald's runs that were short, but now even the subway runs are getting short. I just did a subway and I made $4.86. I get there, it's raining hard, I run up to the house, there's a note on the door saying that the doorbell doesn't work, come around to the side of the house. Normally that wouldn't bother me, but it's raining hard. So I'm like, come on, you gotta be fucking kidding me. And I guess the old lady inside overheard me swear, so she ran to the door and opened it on the other side, and she's yelling out, hey, over here. I'm sorry, ma'am, I didn't mean to swear. It's just that I don't want to run up to your door on a rainy day. And you got a note up there telling me, oh, go back out in the rain and go around to the other side of the house where you have no cover from the rain and wait for me to open the door. So I was a little upset. But of course, no tip. No tip. I'm getting wet. Right now, the t-shirt is, is kind of drying out because I got the, you know, I had the AC in the car on, which I probably shouldn't have done. But it's the only way to keep the windows from fogging up. But at least it's dry. At least the top is dried out at this point. It's still a little wet in the back, but well, what can you do? It's raining. And because I listen to the meteorologist, 93 degrees today, right, guys? 93 fucking degrees today, right? It's going to be 93 and sunny. It's going to be a scorcher all day. And you guys went to college and studied this? Really? 
I can throw some balls up in the air and catch one and go, it's going to snow today. And the odds of me being right are about the same as you guys. 93 degrees today, right? 93. It's going to be a sweltering day. Weather advisory, heat advisory, right? Heard that on the news yesterday. A heat advisory for today. Yes, there was a heat advisory issued for today. Rain. It's probably about 80 degrees outside. Meteorologist. So, of course, I'm wearing nothing but a t-shirt. Hoodies. All my hoodies are at the house. The one day I needed a hoodie... And they're all at the house because I'm listening to the meteorologist. Anyway, other than the fact that it's raining and I'm out here on this hustle and all I want to do is go home and make me a hot cup of coffee or some cocoa, kick back with my shoes off and watch me some anime, maybe have a sub because I just went to Subway. I'm out here on this hustle because I'm trying to make as much money as humanly possible. The only thing I have besides that, oh, that little baby get wet. Cover her up. I wish you guys could see this. Cover her up. <laughs> oh. Anyway. The only thing I got to complain about today. When I first came out, my very first run was a McDonald's run. It was 8 something this morning. Yeah, I got an early start today. Not that that made any kind of damn difference. I still I still sat around for almost an hour before I got my first pain. Normally that happens on a Tuesday. But today I'm thinking that it was going to be a, just an exciting day. I was going to get my get all my runs in, make that bonus money, and I could relax tomorrow and take it easy. I sat on my ass for like over an hour, but it did give me a chance to check my stocks and you know look at a few you know videos on YouTube and fuck around on Instagram and I even actually went on Facebook today. Sorry, I got a little water in my ear, a little rain. All right, cool. Head anyway, north on South University Avenue toward East 95th Street. Copy that. Anyway. The only thing I wanted to talk about today was the rain. And my first McDonald's run, but it doesn't look like I'm going to get a chance to because they say the pickup is ready right now. When they say one minute on it, you know what that means, guys. So let me swing around this corner, go grab this food, make these runs, and get out of this rain. But what I want to say and what I'm going to say is that Uber and McDonald's need to make a commercial. With nothing but black actors and actresses in it. Telling black people that Uber Eats is curbside. I know I've made videos about this before. I know other people have made videos about this before. And then people order so much from McDonald's. I got two bags and I got two cup holders. There's four slots in each cup holder. You got four soft drinks and then four made flurries in the other for breakfast. It's raining buckets. And you standing in your doorway watching me. I got two of your bags and two cup holders. And you standing in your door watching me instead of coming out to the car and giving me a hand. I know it's raining. I don't want to be out in the rain any more than you do. But it's curbside, people. It's curbside. The driver brings you the food if they feel like it as a courtesy. But we are under no obligation to do that. And when we have that much food, when you know you've ordered that much food, would it kill you to come out and give them a hand? You overorder because you don't have to go and get it. And then you don't even want to come out of your door. You're standing there in the door watching the rain fall on me. And I got two bags of your food and two cup holders. 
eight drinks. Uber and McDonald's need to collaborate, make a commercial, telling people it's curbside. Go outside and get your own damn food unless the driver is getting out to bring it to you. Everybody just assumes. And then you order all this food and you don't tip. You had all this money to pay for food and delivery, but you don't give me a quarter. I swear. How's that even work? You got all this food, then you pay an Uber, but you don't want to give me a dollar, 50 cents, a quarter, a damn quarter. And I got to have two bags of your food and eight drinks, and you stand there in your door and watch me walk, bring it up to your door in the rain. McDonald's and black people. The idea that there's no money in the hood is a myth until it comes to tipping. Let me go get this order and get disappointed again. But at least I'm close to my goal. Thanks you guys for watching. You guys be safe out there. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. And I'll holler at you later. Peace.